bad day, I don't have no music. You don't think it's 70 degrees? It's a bad day, man. I don't have any music because I unsubscribed to Apple Music because I didn't download that many songs, right? And today is the end of the subscription and I can't play any music. It's pretty messed up. But got the welder set. Got some big point three five wire in there for the quarter panel for these big old holes. I have to put a fresh tip in it for that three five. Uh what I'm about to do first is grind down a little bit of that on the top. A lot of that's still extra. I'm trimming, but so it won't be so flimsy. I'm about to take care of these two spots and this. I need to get in position because I'm about to. Uh, so as y'all know, I don't have like any frame machine nothing like that. So what I was gonna do was hook up a clamp, like a C clamp, to here and pull it back. But I don't have one big enough. So what I'm going to do is climb in this trunk. Because I can pull this with my hands. So I know it shouldn't be any problems pulling this with my feet. I mean pushing it with my feet. So just push it back that way. And this is the outside. The bottom of this quarter panel should be the inside. So I'm going to make that overlap. Well, make it lap in the center. And once that's where it need to be, I'm gonna go ahead and trim that, put that where it go up there, and then same thing with the bottom. Once everything in position, I'm gonna tag it, put the trunk on, and then start on the sunroof. Hopefully I can get all that done today. Um, let's see, I'm about to finally start in this 137. So we'll see what I can get in the next like six, seven, eight hours, I guess. But no music, man, this finna be this finna be horrible. I've never worked in silence before. So let's see, let's see what I can get. It's looking pretty good, but I'm having a huge problem. So this dent, can't get it out because it's like a, pe a bar piece, like right here. You can stick your hand and you can feel it, but I have to stick something on I can't just stick my hand right there and push it out. So I'm not too sure what's gonna happen with that. This, this tack right there, I'm making a piece of metal go here from here, drill holes in both quarter panels. And I'm gonna tack the wheels and then tack the centerpiece. See that gap right there? I cut off too much, but it ain't too bad for my first time. I mean, I'm not a body man, like I said, but see, well, I ain't cleaned the paint off, burnt the paint up, but that's good. This is pretty good. I should have put a clamp in there, but the gap is pretty good till you get here. So I couldn't pull it out as much as I needed to. And I'm trying to see if I would just want to see, like, I should have cut. When I went to the yard, I should have cut literally this whole back piece. Because without a frame machine, you can't bend none of this. And that's what the issue I'm having, because I couldn't bend all this back. So the light still, like, in a little bit. So what I'm going to try to do is just overlap the quarter panel and make that the outside piece. And then see what it looks like. But I gotta take all this back off just to see what it's gonna look like. And then, this is factory. This gap don't even line up itself. And I took the other lights off, moved the trunk side to side, put a little spacer. Well, I didn't try that, but I was thinking I put a little spacer right there or move these over or something. But yeah, that's factory. But like I said, it's different. It's different uh, trunk and different light this light came on this trunk this light was already on the car so maybe that's the issue but i don't see why because if you order one of these or one of these it's gonna be like a universal fit so maybe it was already like that maybe it wasn't i don't really know but i'm gonna see what happened whatever what it looked like if i push the trunk back but if i push that back these ain't gonna line up no more i can see see the lines I'm about to push it back up so I can get, get that gap back in there. But before I even start trying to line stuff up, I'm just trying to get this light out some more. But that look crazy. Probably won't be no, noticeable for far away, but I'm trying to do it right. And yeah, I can't find that piece. And uh, I'm already too far in to order something. So just trying to make it work. Got these 
the lines too. Day there. On this side. Same with all that. And then y'all remember when I used the drill bit, so I gotta literally clamp every like inch before I wheel down here. But yeah, we set almost marching across the week. She don't even know what it look like. I should call out. But I still gotta do the sunroof hole. So I'm gonna take all these bolts off the roof. Uh use that red piece as a template. Get my stem line and make my cut. So all this trimming and cutting, aligning a little bit of here and there. It's 336, so two hours. And I thought it's gonna take a little, lot longer than that. It still ain't where I want it to be, but I still thought it's gonna take longer than this. The trunk, I thought that was gonna take like 30 minutes. It actually took like five minutes. Time is 408, so that was uh, 30 more minutes. Getting the bottom bumper, the trunk. Uh, I lined it some more in, I greased it, and now it's working fine with the push of a button. But the bottom of the uh, quarter panel ain't tapped in. And then I got a clip that's missing here. So this piece of the bumper was flipping in on the inside. I don't know if it broke on the other piece. But since it's still been in, I can't get like the last three piece clips to clip on light tight. Like, oh, this, this whole corner uneven. But this, this is easy. I just had it. Hold on. It's on two different angles, but right here, y'all gonna see. That boy ain't clipping. Mm. Mm. Try one more time without putting too much force on it. And this thing was bent. Probably had to get a heater, a uh, heat gun, and warm it up while it's on the car and let it get that mold back in. But for the most part, it's there. It's there. Yeah, this ain't, I ain't gonna be able to get over this. I'm gonna try to work something, work something out. Cause uh, that's ugly. That's ugly. But yeah, I'm gonna keep working. Try to get the summer fan next. Heck, you know, it's a, it's a whole lot of stuff I still got to fix. Oh, man. Finally, it's looking like a car again. And left the door open. The heat about to burn the paint on it. Woo! Wow. Did you weld this? This right here. So I can put everything on and see how it is. Wow. Wow, man. I just got sunroof took apart. The time is 4:30. The sunroof took apart. Got the front of the hood part clean. I mean, front of the top clean. Uh, so what I'm gonna do? Go in here. It's a light. Uh, the visor. So I'm gonna go a little bit behind that, and then uh, make a halfway line, and then I'm gonna put the template on top of that halfway line and mark it front and back. Then measure my size once I make a little line right there, make it on me, and then cut it with this body saw. Got it up in here. Look, it's not in here, it's around here somewhere though. I just used the reason, but yeah, that's my next next move. All right, I got my halfway points. I'm gonna go ahead and make some lines so, uh. Got 22 5 8 and 21 and something. But got the halfway for them. Put it right in front of the antenna. I'll make my halfway line and then uh, set this frame on there. These usually be marked off for halfway, but if not, make me a little halfway point and then we'll go from there. Got the electrical tape on uh, this side of my lines. 
got to adjust it a little more, but I'm going to take that, make a line straight down, and then we ready. Get this effort. So what I'm going to do when I take this out, I mean, what I'm going to do is take this out because I don't want no tape lines uh, for the sunroof because uh, to me, you can't get it perfect. You can get it good, but you can't get it perfect. So I'm going to try to keep it like good as possible. And then I got to do some like glass on here. Anyway, because I remember when I took it out, uh, I was seeing one of them metal bars underneath the on the support brackets and I was forcing the the uh man I forgot the name was too but I was forcing it to cut that uh piece right there and I hit the summer for a little bit so I gotta put some glass on that and paint this whole thing black with some can spray paint but it was a whole bunch of like chips up here already one I cut out though but glad I was already painting it. I need to find another way to cut these holes because I hate the way scissors work. I've never been able to get a good cut with scissors. I was always good with the body saw. And then usually some roots come like a half an inch, quarter inch, a lip. So your line ain't got to be perfectly straight, but it can be straight. Mm. The, dang, I forgot the name of the metal cutter, man. But that thing can't cut straight lines when you angle it and stuff like that. So I don't want to use that. You can cut your perimeter and then go around with something fine. But other than that, man, I like the way the body saw work. Um, if I stop cutting my blades down, because I always cut cut my blade down so it can go a uh, shorter distance. If I stop cutting my blade down, it might not jump out. Like, they always jump out on me. But, hmm, I'll figure it out. Like, have a, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'll figure it out. But I'm going to take this out. Do this little work on here. I'm not doing this today, but I'm gonna do this little work on here and then put some silicone on here and let it dry. And that'll be like my my uh, weather stripping because this sunroof is at an angle and it could possibly leak once it's tightened down and say it got a little gap, it could leak. So if I just put the silicone on there around the edge to around this part in the inside, and that'd be my barrier for it. But yeah, it's in there. I already know it worked, I tested it and everything. The frame and the the uh, the piece that covered the glass both right here. So hopefully I can get this done for New Year's. Cause y'all y'all see y'all like I do. I made my metal bracket. I forget why I just put it at. Cause it was just right here. Hold on, give me a second. All right, here you go. Got my metal piece that I was talking about. So I'm gonna drill this, drill uh, this side, tack it. Same for this, and then I'll start doing the body work on that stuff like that. But other than that, man, I just gotta do some grinding, tack all these spots, and then when I take it back off, put put the uh lip on the bottom of this on the outside and see if this push it out. But she saw it, she was like, I didn't even notice it. But you know, it's different when you like doing it because you're a perfectionist and you're trying to do it better and better every time you do it. So I'm not trying to do no halfway stuff, and uh, I'm trying to get it right. Um, they should be at home. It's five thirty-three now. I mean, I did all this in four hours. They should be home in like not twenty, thirty minutes. But I was gonna try to cut this, cut all this glue and glass out. But I don't have a razor that I thought I had. I thought I brought it over here, but if I did, I can't find it. So mm, I'm gonna try to do something else for the next twenty minutes. Um, possibly clean up because I got a whole bunch of stuff here. Well, but yeah, man, but four hours of work. And then uh, yeah, the sunroof. It's clamped down with the bottom, with the bottom bracket, with the screws. I'm all looking like it ain't flush, but 
you sit this in there and then once you start bolting it down with the bolts it's gonna con get the contour of it when you push it down but hold on it's looking funny i don't know man i don't know how to explain it but when you put the bracket on on the bottom piece there's gonna be no gap and for y'all who don't believe me i got an old video on it with two of these in the grand prix i mean a grand marquise two of them so i'm familiar with the process